Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching my videos as usual. Yeah. First off, so I just want to show you the updates of my Kendo practice dummy. In fact, since the last video I made, um, there are no further changes I have done except I've made some observations to this. Um, it really stands quite well as a piece of furniture in fact when people tell me that this could be like a piece of furniture um, I feel honored for some reason yeah in fact when some people visited my place and they thought it was a Muay Thai dummy that this part Right here, the tare, um, it's mistaken for um, knee kick pad, like you could practice your knee kicks, oh, like so, or your knee, whatever. Um, so next step, by the way, is that I'm going to put some wood glue so that it won't budge because since this came from a natural piece of wood um, making it permanently hard is quite challenging to think that I'm not a professional at woodworking um, based on this one is what I can do is to put some wood glue because this used to budge this used to shake so in order for me to prevent that I'm going to fill up some wood glue over this and then as soon as I'm done look probably remove all probably remove this headpiece before I paint everything with varnish or wooden varnish so that oh yeah some wasps decide to live inside which kind of frustrates me because it's slowly eating away at the wood look there's a lizard can you see that oh <laughs> yes there's a lizard actually yeah lizard So it seems unmoved. Yeah, I thought it's a snake, but it's a lizard. Did you see that? Yeah, so in order for them to I have to evict those little guys by putting on some varnish and after that This becomes a piece of furniture That could hopefully grow old as time goes by. Yeah So, I had to let some time pass for me to do all of my other things that I had to do but at this point I have removed the headpiece as indicated right here and um, from this point I can put some of these wood glue Elmer's wood glue and this looks strong enough and I, I can just peel everything up all the points that I think that it's going to give way after many times of abuse like this part is most likely to give way after abuse um, let me concentrate on this one and I bet this is going to take some time because it requires drying up the glue after I applied it preferably overnight and let's see how it goes so I put the, so I put a piece of wood to to the parts where I think they're the most vulnerable 
for example, this joint rate. Right. So the glue itself should bond. Yeah. Disclaimer though, I'm not a woodworking professional. So if it's okay with you, I would like to ask for more suggestions. Maybe I could apply them whenever I feel like making another dummy but with a different approach yeah so as a background um i saw this tree right this is actually made from avocado tree that i had to cut it down because i had to make some home improvements like this fence here in the back i had it professionally made so i didn't do it um so it all started from a piece of log that something suddenly came into my mind that this should um, I could have used this log for something better it's just lying there so instead of being useless so might as well make something out of it and Plus, I have some old rubber mats lying around, so I figure that I have to make use of it. So, weeks later, it ended up like this. So, I hope we can get a good picture of that. Well, we still have daylight. Um, I'm trying to maximize. So, let's begin. So... Let's put some more so that I can apply glue for the rest of the night, perhaps. Yeah. So I have nothing to lose. So I have nothing to lose except this bottle of glue right here. <laughs> but don't worry if you feel like sharing some like woodworking advice i it's more than welcome um because as i've said a while ago i'm not a professional at this one but so far if you see my previous videos this practice dummy has been doing a good job for me at least so it's still standing yeah So, a little bit of um, addition though, so this is supposed to be the place where you hit with your shinai for the kote part and then the headpiece that used to be made of rubber mat, um, I took it off in preparation for the varnish that we had to, that I will be applying so that as I said a while ago it's to prevent insects and other small animals from living inside of this log yeah so let me do the work and let me show you later how it's going to look like or how it's going to end up for this day's work and yeah enjoy yeah So after a few minutes of hammering and I have to lie the dummy straight down to the floor in order for the glue to penetrate by using gravity and this has to be left for at least five hours or overnight at best so that the next day I could work on the other side and apply some glue wood glue and wait for it to dry so as a result the dummy has to look as much as possible natural natural so this looks better 
after I apply the varnish but this is enough application for now so I have to leave it dry and see you soon yeah